wide receiver. Number one, Jaron Ross, the quarterback. Number eight, Matthew Feldman, the strong safety. And Coach Steve Johnson. Coach, if you want to make an opening statement for you, sure. please. Not good at this because I get <laughs> I get emotional at kickoffs. So anyway, <laughs> very proud of our team um, coming to a place like this in uh, first class in every way and. Uh, We just want to be men that uh, stay in the fight and uh, play for each other for 60 minutes. And uh, I am proud of these guys and all of them uh, that we did that today. And fell short. It's the way it is. They hurt in Baylor's. Uh, it's got so many great athletes and great tradition. And Great ball game today. So that's, I heard that was a great game to watch. Yeah. Oh boy. Anyway, um, privilege to be here. Proud of these guys. Questions? Did you all up 11 early in the fourth? Was anything interesting? That one play, long touchdown, kind of flipped the game on its head. Was it? I mean, is it just as simple as that? Just momentum change and couldn't get it back. Yeah, you know, it felt like that. Is you know, you analyze all these things, but there's there's so many plays in a in a football game that every one of them's got something. A lot of times, some of the intrigue about football is that you don't even know. You know, something happened on a game in a game that doesn't even could be even somebody hurt over here. And even after that one, we had a pass caught by uh, 26 Ellingson, and and then it, you know whether it's a fumble or not, it doesn't matter. But that that's another piece of that. But but definitely the. Um, where we went for a pick, uh, uh, Feldy did. Where we went for a pick, and and it, and you know that thing right there is pretty hard to not. It's pretty hard to ignore because you get the pick or even a knockdown, you know, it could be a different story. And you, you can't say that, you know. But the athleticism, Mary Harden Baylor, it's not a new deal where, you know, they make something bigger. And we miss it. We miss more tackles than we need to. I mean, then then you can, especially against a great team, and that's something that we. We, you know, we need to do well, but and we usually do. So um, that that's part of it. It's not just that one play, but it definitely was a big one. Coach, even getting to this point, a lot of a lot of people have kind of turned some heads uh, with your performance leading up to this point. What do you think that says about this team and uh, just kind of how you guys have performed this season? Yeah, um, we kind of know who we are, and uh, you know we. We're okay with being under the radar and um, been overshadowed a little bit. And you know, I was listening to somebody, I can't remember who that, they had a chip on their shoulder. We don't have a chip. We just want to be good. And uh, yeah, so we just want to be a bunch of guys, love each other, love the Lord, uh, love football. And uh, there's a lot of power in that when your base is strong. Jaron, you know, this is the first time any of us have seen you play, but remember when we read and, and, and looked in the stats of the, the three interception day is, is rare, rare for you. What what was it about the MHB defense that made it? Yeah, so, yeah. obviously, uh, like you said, three picks is rare just for our offense in general. One of the things that we were, the reason we were so successful over these last couple of weeks is we played turnover-free football and, and we were able to control the tempo. Uh, yeah, I think if you, you break some of those interceptions down, uh, the second one at the end of half, trying to get within field goal range, and, and so that was one, you know, gave our guy a chance, got pressure. I sure would like to have that one back and try to get three before half. Um, and then the third one was, I mean, we just made, you got defense back, made a hell of a play um, on the slant. We hit that slant so many times in this game alone. Um, it was kind of a 50 50 ball, and, and him and Joey went after it. And I think he said he made a good play. But that's a that's a great defense. Uh, you know, you've been putting 228 on on a defense like that throughout the course of 
16 minutes is something to be proud of that obviously came up short, uh, especially in the fourth quarter there when you know we moved the ball effectively and put the ball in the end zone those first three quarters. On the uh, on the defensive side, what what about UMHB in those final moments? At least uh, when they were making that run, was so difficult to stop that offense. I mean, yeah, it's kind of the same thing when you look around and they're a very good team. You know, um, seventeen quarterbacks really good. They have a couple good, really good running backs. Um, really good athletes all over the field um, at receiver and kind of like Coach Chase said, um, offense balled out. Um, defense played really well. I'd say in the first half and then. Um, kind of trickled down from there. A lot of missed outs and stuff. So, a team like that, you gotta you gotta keep on the keep on the gas pedal the whole game. So. Morris, Morris, thank you guys. Appreciate it.